I never would have expected the simple act of buying DVDs would be so difficult. But let my experiences make your life easier. I present for you the Super Friends DVD Survival Guide. We all remember the Super Friends, a show born in the 1970s that, for better or worse, never really seemed able to shrug off its 70s trappings and style, despite being on the air well into the 1980s. The show was a Saturday morning staple, showcasing DC Comics' most famous superheroes, Superman, Batman and Robin, and Wonder Woman, as well as a rotating cast of second-tier heroes like Flash, Green Lantern, and Aquaman. The series is also infamous for its derided kid sidekick characters, originally Wendy, Marvin, and Wonder Dog, soon changed to the Wonder Twins and their space monkey, Gleek. The Super Friends was a 1970s kids show, which means there was no real violence of any kind. The dialogue was bombastic and cheesy, and the characters were hopelessly saccharine, but it has an indescribable charm that you just can't escape from. In the 1980s, they would add diversity, with some rather stereotypical minority characters. Samurai, El Dorado, Apache Chief, and Black Vulcan. I still don't get it. They called him Black Vulcan, just smacking him with a race label. They didn't call the other three Asian Warrior, Peruvian Man, and Indian Chief. Couldn't they have just simply called him Vulcan, after the Roman God? Thankfully, he was replaced on the show by Cyborg a few years later. That's the real feat of this show. It was on forever. The show premiered in 1973, and then ran in reruns off and on until 1977, when they relaunched the show, and it ran continuously until 1986. Thanks to the retro TV renaissance that was ushered in by DVD, we were soon treated to the Super Friends. But if only Warner Brothers had kept it that simple. Instead, they made the purchase of Super Friends on DVD about as complicated as you can possibly make it. Seriously, this kind of bungling doesn't happen by accident. It is inexplicably planned. Admittedly, Warner Brothers wasn't dealing with a straightforward TV series. Throughout its original airing, the Super Friends show changed titles almost every season. And every season had different amounts of episodes. Stupid? Yes. But had I been at Warner Brothers, I would have seen this as an opportunity to finally streamline Super Friends into a well-planned, chronological release on DVD. But my plan is the stuff dreams are made of, and it didn't happen. In fact, take the opposite plan. Put it in a paper shredder then throw the confetti up in the air. When it lands, that's your plan. If you want to collect the Super Friends on DVD, there's a lot you need to know, because not even Amazon has a convenient one-click-all bundle deal for them. Here's how this works. The first DVD was released in July 2004, Challenge of the Super Friends, but that's not the first season. That's actually the second part of Season 3. See, Season 3 was an hour-long show where the first 30 minutes was called All New Super Friends, and the last 30 minutes was called Challenge of the Super Friends. What's funny is that this DVD is labeled The First Season, even though Challenge of the Super Friends didn't have a second season. In May 2005, they released All New Super Friends. They called this set Super Friends Volume 2, which is stupid because there's no Volume 1, and it's misleading because it has the wrong title. The next release didn't happen until over three years later, on August 2007, with the release of Super Friends, the legendary Superpower show. This is Season 9, when the show's title meant to promote the new Kenner Superpowers toy line. Season 10, the final season called the Superpowers team Galactic Guardians, was released in October 2007. January 2008 saw the release of Volume 1 of The All-New Super Friends Hour. That's actually the first half of Season 2. A year later, in January 2009, Volume 2 of The All-New Super Friends Hour was released. In August 2009, they released Super Friends The Lost Episodes, a collection of episodes that were never picked up in the United States that would have been a part of Season 8. Now, in January 2010, almost six years after the release of the first Super Friends DVD, they finally released Season 1 of Super Friends. Well, the first volume of it, anyway. The second volume appeared seven months later in July of that year. After that, Warner Brothers went dark for three years. Then in April 2013, they distributed Season 4, 
which was titled The World's Greatest Super Friends, as a limited time only Target exclusive. Granted, this is one of the shortest seasons of Super Friends, but an exclusive? Come on. In July 2013, Season 5 came to DVD. That season, the title was reverted back to simply Super Friends, as was Season 6, which came to DVD in October 2013. Now, you might be pulling your hair out saying, okay, so when is Season 7 coming to DVD? Well, Season 7 was all reruns, so the wait for that DVD will be a long one. Don't hold your breath. It would have been nice if Warner Brothers had just brought these out in production order. It would have been nice if they'd numbered the DVDs as well, so you'd know if you're missing one. Because the releases were so far apart, and 10 years in the making, the packaging style changes as much as the title of the show. The first discs were in glossy slip cases with a gatefold disc holder matching the look of the Batman animated series sets. Then they switched to slim paper slip cases for a while, then plastic cases within paper slip cases, then just standard plastic DVD cases. It makes the full collection on your shelf look like crap. I'd love to hear their rationale as to why this DVD collection rolled out this way. Did the personnel at Warner Brothers Home Video turn over 50 times in the decade it took them to release Super Friends? Were there rights issues? I guess anything's possible. In any case, the entire Super Friends series is now on DVD. In every case. Thank you.